Earlier, I think Dom Chu had reported on a Reuters report involving an approach that had been made to gaming company Caesars. Did want to follow up because we have more information for people in terms of that developing story. Uh, that offer was made about a week ago. It was a $13 a share cash and stock offer, but follow me here for a moment. It was from private company run by and owned by Tillman Fertitta. Of course, a frequent contributor here on uh, uh, CNBC, Landry's Golden Nugget. Essentially, the deal as it was proposed would exchange stock in the private company for Caesars um, at a similar multiple, in fact, the same multiple to EBITDA that they are currently, uh, that Caesars currently trades for. It would then be followed by what I am told by people familiar with the situation would be a two to three billion dollar Dutch tender uh, for Caesar shareholders who perhaps wanted to elect to actually exit their position. Now again, this proposal was made roughly a week ago. My understanding is it has not been responded to. There may have been some conversations between uh, Mr. Fertitta uh, and the advisors for Caesars, but no outright <laughs> Uh, no agreement at this point. It is seen as potentially an opening bid. And what's interesting here, Scott, is it also does seem to be the beginning of what you might call a bear hug, it now being made public. Uh, it's been no secret there's been some frustration on the part of some large shareholders at Caesars, including uh, Canyon or Senator, uh, that the company has been a bit undermanaged. And certainly Tillman Fertitta is seen as somebody who is very capable of driving traffic, whether it is to restaurants or to his casinos in the form of Golden Nugget. Uh, but again, a $13 a share bid, essentially exchanging stock currently for the private company he controls into Nuco, depending on whether it's 13 or if they get up from there to 14 or 15, Mr. Fertitta's percentage ownership, of course, of Caesars would therefore decline. But overall, uh, the leverage ratio, I'm told, would remain roughly the same, even with adding the 2 to $3 billion in debt, because, of course, of the EBITDA that would be coming from Caesars and the belief on the part of perhaps some holders that it would be in better hands in terms of managed by Mr. Fertitta. So, Scott, we did want to share that on Caesars, uh, and it certainly seems to be a story that we may be following for some time if, in fact, as it seems likely, they come public at some point with this offer although, again, it had not been rejected. I should add, Caesars, as my understanding, has also been seeking its own acquisition, and so some of the timing of this may be designed to potentially forestall that. And that's all I got for you right now, Scott. Send it back to well, you. That's a lot.